Hey everyone, so when we submitted for our ADU permit, uh, we had to submit um, all the BTUs for the new appliances, basically for the new unit. So we have a range, we also have a tankless water heater. And so when we ran our, our gas line, uh, they came back and they asked for a meter inspection. So during your construction or during your build, one of your inspections will be for the inspector to come out, take a look at your current meter and just determine whether or not you need to upgrade or not. So it was determined that we did need to upgrade our meter. And so you can go on to sdg &E's website and you have to fill out an application. I'll post the page below. But once you start that application process, it takes a few weeks for them to schedule someone to come out, take a look at your current meter. So they do a little inspection, a site inspection, and then they will do an upgrade for you. Once you get your meter inspection signed off and sent in through your inspector, your building inspector, and then they go ahead and they send that over to another division and they schedule the actual install. So just to be honest, um, you have to stay on top of this process. Uh, I started immediately when we were still doing, I believe either underground or foundation inspections. And it took, we've already built the entire AU, ADU and we we're just waiting for this so that we can get our final inspection. So I'm going to walk over and I'll show you uh, what the new meter looks like. And I'll go ahead and fit in here um, a picture, a little clip of the old meter that we upgraded. Okay, so you just saw the old original gas meter, and I don't know if it goes all the way back to 1959, but it's, as you can tell, it was very old, and it had a capacity of 250,000 BTUs per hour, and so that wasn't deemed enough for our current or existing house with the addition of the new appliances on the ADU. So at no cost, other than all the legwork, uh, SDG and E came out and installed this 630,000 BTUs per hour, and as you can see, it's it's much larger. Um, even though you know our main line coming in is only three quarter inch, and then going into the house three quarter, you can see that all of the fittings on the meter are inch and a quarter, and then what we have going into the ADU, which is right here is one inch so it was it only took them about half an hour to switch everything over uh, but they they replaced all the fittings they replaced the valve which i'm very happy because that old valve you could barely turn it and then this valve here i installed when we hooked up the adu so that we could go ahead and turn off the house and keep the gas running into the ADU, or we could turn off the ADU, or we could turn them both off. And then obviously if you turn off the valve here, you turn everything off. So that would be in the event of an emergency. But if you're doing any servicing, uh, you have valves there. One thing I mentioned before, this is where we enter into the ADU. So it's in another valve there that we could shut off to shut off the garage as well. So as you can see, going from 250,000 to 630,000 BTUs, uh, we shouldn't have any issues with a lack of capacity going into the new living space with the ADU. But another thing that you're gonna need to calculate uh, if, if you're designing it or you know, if installing it, is just to make sure that your pipe is also the correct size and so there's a lot of charts it's pretty easy online to be able to calculate um, based on the btus for example of your range your water heater um, and the distances that they are from the meter then you can calculate the size pipe that you're going to need to run so 
In our case, we ran one inch from the meter into the ADU, and then we downsized to three quarter inch where we took it over to the um, hot water heater and then to the dryer, it's three quarter, and then we're half inch going over into the range. So based on those calculations, we have plenty of, of capacity for that. So my recommendation would be um, find out if you need to upgrade or upsize your meter. And if you do, then just keep talking with your um, building inspector um, to make sure that he signs off and also make sure that, uh, that his signature gets passed on through to the utility company because that was, that took me almost two months before they actually could see his signature and then they would go ahead and schedule the install for me. The actual install was very quick. Uh, they called me on Friday. They said they would be there on Tuesday. They came in the rain, installed it and purged the system and they were out of here within 30 to 45 minutes. So, and then as I said, no charge for the upgrade. It's just the legwork to get it installed. And so hope this is helpful to you. And if you like the information, feel free to subscribe and I'll be adding more for a future ADU that will be starting in about four weeks. Okay, thanks, have a good one.